Hey guys, welcome to the Vlog Rewind. And just like the main channel rewind that you should watch first, it's also late, but uploaded on the next best date. There are no numbers in this channel's username. Again, this was meant to be uploaded on January 24th. Also unlike the main channel, I uploaded here almost twice as much. It's enough for a montage set to happy music, but to be fair to both channels, I'm gonna hold both montages hostage until the next rewind and just use both of these rewinds to talk about the past, present, and future of the channel. I know, but I can't play favorites. But to be honest, the vlog channel is starting to become my new favorite channel, even if it pulls less. Why? Keep on watching to find out! But again, if you haven't seen the main channel rewind yet, I again urge you to watch that one first. Or else... But before I get into all of that, for those of you thirsting over nostalgic content, just like on the main channel, I re-uploaded almost all the YouTube stories I made to promote some vlogs under the YouTube Shorts tab. And I'll also be making shorts to promote future long-form vlogs too, and vlog shorts that don't need to be over a minute. Plus, like I also mentioned in the main channel rewind, I re-uploaded all my old vines to this channel. Link in the description. Hopefully this all can appeal to the people with cooked attention spans. But if that's not enough for you, in the main channel rewind, I mentioned a certain incident that affected uploads that happened in the middle of the year. It didn't affect the vlog channel as much as the main channel, but it still did in a major way for reasons I'm about to get into. I said in the main channel rewind I would only show one photo of the incident, and I'm gonna stick to that. But to add more substance to this vlog rewind, I'll show another photo at a different angle. Yeah, once again, I have to stress I wasn't the one driving to not add to the stereotype, nor even in the car when it happened. Plus no one was killed or seriously injured. Just wanted to give you guys context if you do decide to share it around. And you'll know the full story whenever the time is right, which will be a long, long while for a good reason. I regret having that sticker on there, but follow me on there. Again, not for the faint of heart. And if you want to pay your respects, Check out the vlog where I picked her up! That actually still gets a decent amount of views to this day! Except it might be kinda depressing with this context now. Rest in peace. The major way that incident affected the vlog channel is that most of you probably know I got a new car! A Ford Bronco! It wasn't in response to the incident, but it happened to come in clutch afterwards. A lot of you have been asking where's the vlog where I picked her up, and I have the majority of it filmed, but I didn't want to complete it until the incident was mostly sorted out. And that took a damn long time. I didn't want to release the Bronco vlog yet because it would have been hard to navigate around the incident without mentioning it for obvious reasons. But now that you know, I'm proud to announce that it's coming soon! And to give you a sneak peek, it was the worst new car experience I've ever had. And that was before I almost totaled her too. Yep, the stereotype is back! And I can't wait for all of you to experience all the twists and turns in that vlog, whenever it comes out. Also coming soon. Now back to why I think this channel is my new favorite offspring. You all probably know that the main channel is dedicated to mostly tech destruction. I know, it's news to most. But since that's the identity I gave it, it's very hard to stray from it, and that's a problem, cause like I said in its rewind, I've nearly milked its gimmick dry. But for this channel, there's always going to be new and fresh experiences I can go vlog for content. And each vlog is another memory for the scrapbook that is this channel. Hell, some of the best days of my life was vlogged here on this channel last year. It was LTX, as pathetic as that sounds. Still waiting on that free PC, Linus. But even if that experience is just me complaining about something in my home, I'm proud I got to monetize more aspects of my life, thanks to this channel. Does every experience always get a lot of views? No, but unlike the main channel, most of the time, I still got to go out on an adventure and explore. AKA, touch grass. TwitchCon may not be the best example. Unlike most people who go on vacation, I get to monetize all the photos and videos I take instead of having them all just sit on my phone, never to be looked at again. Living the dream. Shout out to all the friends and collabs I've made along the way too. But the other best part is, I know I named this channel Plain Rock Vlogs, but I'd like to think of it more like a variety channel. The series Plain Rock Toys on here comes to mind. New one coming soon. Not exactly vlogs, but definitely not just tech destruction either. For the most part. But no matter. 
This channel is open and accepting to way more than just tech destruction content or vlogs. I'm so glad I raised them both to have different viewpoints. That's what all parents of more than one offspring should do. From going to my dream convention that will never happen again, to a series about obsolete computers that will probably never happen again, this channel has it all. Each vlog can be described differently instead of me break tech. Also unlike the main channel, there is significantly less work involved. Like I said, I'm still a one-man band, so from experience, vlogs are nearly half the work main channel videos are. Most don't require scripting, and filming requires a lot less effort in setup and execution. I see something stupid, I say something stupid. But, since you can't really plan much, there is no guarantee you'll get an interesting vlog, but for the most part, it usually works out. Editing is still somewhat of a bitch though. And just like the main channel, there is also scripted content that sometimes take just as much work as a main channel video. But since the video subject is usually not overly milked tech destruction, it's more fun and enjoyable to make! Hell, I had a way easier time and was less stressed writing this vlog channel rewind script than the main channel rewind script. You would know why if you had watched that first like I told you to. One downside is, since it's real life, you may get into some unexpected, awkward, and uncomfortable situations. And I'm not just talking about my public outbursts that are slightly embarrassing for everyone and me, but we all quickly move on. No, I'm talking about getting into trouble. Luckily it's rare, but it's hard for me to edit when it happens sometimes, cause I have to relive that whole experience again if I want content out of it. I damn near had a panic attack editing that Airbnb video, and something similar happened this year at CES. Definition of a first world problem though, don't feel too bad for me. I didn't get kicked out, but let's just say I am not looking forward to editing that part. And the Bronco vlog kinda has some elements of awkwardness too. You'll see why for both soon. So let's go back to talking about some uncomfortable things on this channel. Like the main channel, this channel also had some failures this year. Like the profile picture change at the start of the year, which I reverted back a few months later. I thought it would be a good idea to change the background color to distinguish it more from the main channel. But I changed it back after realizing, and this is kinda bad, but maybe it might be good if people are confused so they might click on a vlog channel video thinking it's a main channel video or vice versa. And they might have enjoyed a video they may have dismissed due to it being on one of my channels they might not like. Now I'm aware that most of my fanbase watches both my channels, but I've also accidentally unsubscribed or unfollowed people because I didn't recognize them when they changed their profile picture. I'm not calling you guys dumb, and I don't know if it actually affected viewership in a negative way, but let's just not fix something that doesn't appear to be a problem and hasn't changed since the start of the channel! Moving on! Another failure which technically applies to both channels, but I'm saying it here so both rewinds can have an equal amount of failures. A while ago, I said that I would shoot both my main and vlog channel videos completely on an iPhone. Well, I did for some videos and vlogs, but I'm just gonna go back to regular cameras from now on. There are a lot of advantages, like its size, simplicity, and cloud backups, but the main reason I'm switching back is the microphone quality. The iPhone's audio levels are all over the place, and it's very susceptible to even the slightest breeze of wind. So, yeah, let's check out what's in the home and pharmacy section. I know that I can attach an external microphone, but then it ruins the size and simplicity advantage, so I might as well just go back to using a dedicated camera for both channels, since it has more pros that outweigh the cons. And that's what I've been using for both of these rewinds. Having to pay $10 a month for more iCloud storage? No thanks. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about- oh yeah, the lack of updated room and house tours. Yeah, I know this is pretty rich coming from me, but I don't know if I'm gonna do them again due to privacy concerns. Yeah, I'll just leave it there and hope you can understand. But who knows what can happen in the future! To end off on a better note, just like the main channel, I am also damn proud of almost everything on this channel too, and I'm glad it grew alongside the main channel. But again, just like parents with more than one kid, I love them both, but I definitely favor one more than the other right now. I think I'm ready for parenthood! I can't wait to use this channel to monetize even more aspects of my life, which was the vision from the start! And so with that, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Even though you were supposed to watch the main channel rewind first, watch it again! Please?